Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the first module of RPA and uh, these are the super important questions which you can see. We will be learning today uh, the 5 super important questions of RPA which are the most expected questions and make sure you watch this video till the end. I will be telling you what are the important key points in each of these, how do you remember this with the most simple terms and uh, before starting make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and without wasting any more time let's get started. What is RPA and list some of the tasks performed by the robotic process automation bots. What is RPA means first you need to know the full form that's the first uh, thing robotic process automation and it is a technology that uses the uh, automation stuff to automate the stuff and do the actions which the human perform mimic the human options and it is obviously more accurate faster and consistent after you have written this much you have to remember a story that you were sitting in an exam hall and you got an answer you got a question which you don't know the answer of so you called your friend and told send me the answer so what your friend did is your friend went and opened a website and logged in into that where the answer is present and he copy pasted the information from that uh, website to another app which is the email and sent you an email and you opened that email during the exam and then you extracted the content in the form of document and you read it and written in the database and after that you used it for your calculations wrote the answer and got full marks this is what you need to remember for the uh, first question what is rpa what are the tasks performed by rpa moving on we have the second question which is the list and explain flavors of rpa these uh, first module questions are very much expected and very easy questions the flavors of rpa is nothing but the types of RPA as we all know there are three types of RPA the attended unattended and intelligent process attended means a human will be there and a robot will also be there like for example call center unattended means all the things the uh, robotic process automation will only be doing and this happens uh, generally in the email invoice or the bank finance transactions and all it is unattended and the last one is the intelligent process uh, rpa in that we'll be having the ai so using these three key concepts you have to fill the pages moving on to the third super important question which is uh, compare rpa with bpo bpm and bpa to remember this question uh, it's very simple first you have to remember the full forms what is bpo is business process outsourcing first we will discuss bpm bpm is business process management see this is the business and the business is getting managed okay this is the business and this is getting managed so in the business management you will be having a small parts uh, for each of the tasks and one of the tasks will be performed by RPA that is called as business process uh, management with RPA the whole business won't be automated a small part will be automated okay so for more information go through this theory this is about the BPM and then about the BPO is business, business process outsourcing you'll be outsourcing some uh, information from the other country or within the same country or within a neighboring country those are the three types you have to mention first offshore near shore and onshore but there are some issues regarding the security cost and politics as well so to handle them moving on we have the third thing which is the business process automation here the entire business has to be automated you understood the difference between bpm and bpa right bpm means business process management a small part of that uh, whole business is getting managed whereas in the business process automation the whole business is getting automated using rpm okay so this is a very hard one and uh, like for example how, uh, onboarding a new employee into the uh, office okay those are the things which is uh, handled by the BPA. In the same way we have the fourth super important question we have uh, list the different RPA skills. So if you read this you'll get you'll be getting what are the skills of RPA not exactly the skills of RPA but basically they are asking if we integrate the cloud with RPA what are the difficulties we will face. The first difficulty is it is difficult to it is complex to handle uh, different uh, domains. See for exa uh, example the cloud will be having different domains right. The cloud will be having different types of data which is handling different domains. If we integrate RPA with uh, the cloud the RPA is supposed to handle many different domains that is not possible as of now okay that is one of the thing and um the next thing is that the approach of cloud is always there for many years but the RPA is a new approach it has not been much integrated with cloud we haven't developed those softwares which are working with cloud uh, successfully as much as RPS so uh, this is what uh, we will be facing the difficulties but if RPA starts to integrate with the cloud there will be a much more transition so what are the different RPA skills means you can mention the first question where I mentioned what are the uh, tasks of RPA what it can do skills also can mention it can automate the many business it can use the cloud technology also to enhance its own features moving on we have this fifth super important question which is about the agile scrum campaign and waterfall this is very important you need to know the differences agile means what it's not like we will be having everything in plan we will have some resources we'll have some plan we'll start it then we'll upgrade it again we'll iterate again we'll iterate that kind of thing is known as agile then we have scrum scrum is nothing but a subset of agile where we'll have quick sprints okay this is the key point quick sprints will be there within two weeks that is what you have to mention in scrum can 
and one is nothing but the Japanese word where you'll be using the diagrams or the images for the uh, keeping track of how much work is done that is also um, done by uh, Toyota's high quality manufacturing process you can mention those things and finally we have waterfall in the waterfall model this is the old model in which we will be having all the plan initially done and everything will be set and we'll be just following the plan in detail it will be very slow if any change has to be made in between it is nearly impossible okay so those are the four things you have to mention and uh, learn very well from the exam point of view that's all for the module uh, one of rpa make sure hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one